Okay, welcome Sparkies. Um, this is the first night of club. We're so excited. So if you were at Sparkies right now, at club, um, I would have everybody stand up and I'd have everybody stand up and turn in a circle, okay? And we would touch our, touch our heads and we push out and we just get comfortable and ready to sit and listen. So if you guys need to do that right now, totally okay, especially if you've been listening to the cubbies and the other um, lessons. So um, first out, uh, we'll just start out in prayer. So I'm going to do that right now, okay? Lord, I want to thank you so, so very much for um, the Sparky that's sitting on the couch right now, or sitting on the floor, or standing up doing jumpy jacks. Um, I thank you for their life. I thank you for um, just having to deal with a crazy year. I uh, just want them to know that they are so loved and they are not alone, and that um, we are excited to get to know them. Amen. Okay, so we are going to start at the beginning, because that's the best place to start. So we are going to be talking through Flight 316. So if you have your Flight 316, if you are a, a, a um, first year Sparky, you should have this. If not, that's okay. I want you to open up your books to whatever book you're at. Even if you've already done this and you're just taking over from a year before, everybody starts out with John 316. Okay, this is what this book looks like. And so we're going to talk through this, and we're going to learn some different ways to learn verses. All right, so um, if we were in club, I know that you have your Flight 316 there, and your parents may have already read it with you, or a big brother or big sister, um, but we want to go ahead and just do it again, and that's what we would do in club, is go through all of the first year kids every single time and read through it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with you. Um, you'll be seeing the book also, so we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning. Hey, what a breezy, sunny, flowery, leafy, grassy, let's go outside and play day. A great fly around the world day, says Sparky. You can fly, Sparky? We can't, unless we buy a plane ticket. Then we can fly anywhere we want. We can't buy a ticket to heaven. Heaven is a gift. We don't get that on an airplane. Sparky, where are you going? Wichita! Sparky wants to meet all the Sparkies everywhere, but that will take him a long time. He's one silly bug. Did you know that God created lightning bugs just like he created people? Okay, I'm going to stop right here. So something that we talk about in club a lot is, is and what we do with my kids when we're at, we're at home, is that when something makes you wonder, when you're not sure about something, we write it down. And we have trusty whiteboards sometimes we keep near us and write ideas down. So if you have never seen a lightning bug in person, which I haven't seen it, I encourage you to talk to your parents about that. and. Um, be able to look up about lightning bugs and find, find a YouTube video or something like that to learn about lightning bugs because they're pretty cool. Okay, back on. And God created the sky, the sun, the moon, the stars, animals, land, grass, trees, oceans, mountains, flowers, fish, and so much more. Woo! God made everything from nothing. That's what create means. Make something from nothing. God made us and God loves us. He loves the whole world. Just like the Sparks key verse. <gasps> John 3.16 For God so loved the world. Okay, say your own name when we practice this, okay? So like this. For God so loved Bethany. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and start this verse. And we have made it in your Sparky's books that gives you two weeks, if you're a kindergartner or a first year Sparky, to go over this verse. Um, so we don't want you to rush it through. We want you to know, we want you to ask questions, we want you to get to know what it really means. And so the very first part is John 3.16, for God so loved the world. What does that mean? Okay? So I want you guys to stop right now, I want you to talk to your families about that. And we're going to talk about it a little bit more too. Okay? So we're going to keep going into the book and then we're going to talk a little bit about the about Okay, so in the book. Early next morning, Sparky, I thought you were in Wichita. Flight pitch 16, ready for takeoff. I got lost in the dark, so I'm off to the store for a new luminous lightning light to help me see where I'm going. Bye again. Roger, Flight 316, you're clear for takeoff. That silly bug. We keep telling him that lightning bugs don't get their lights at the store. He never listens to anything we say. People don't listen to God either, even though he made us and he loves us. He loves us so much, he sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to die for us. Okay, we're on to the second part. John 3, 16. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. I want you to stop and I want you to say that again. Okay, so John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. If you're sitting on the couch, I encourage you to stand up right now, turn in a circle, and we're going to say it one more time. Now, you know how I'm saying it. I'm not saying, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. So it's really easy to do that. And when we're in club, some of the kids have said it hundreds of times. They start to say it faster and faster and faster. The problem is, are you really listening to the words? Do you really know what, what you're saying? No. Okay, so John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And for, for what we would do with my kids is kind of sign this out. So for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Okay, next to page. The Lord Jesus has to die because of our, of our sins. Sins are the bad things we think and say and do. Because we couldn't take the punishment for our sins ourselves. Right, because we aren't perfect. We're all born sinners. And because of that, we all sin. Things that are against what God tells us in his word, the Bible. We need someone perfect without sin to die for us. The Lord Jesus is the only one who is perfect. No one has ever been perfect. So he is the only one who could have died for our sins. But he didn't stay dead. Not sure. He came alive again three days later and now is in heaven. We need to trust and believe in him. He died for our sins and he can come alive again. We need to trust him as the one who saves, rescues us from our sins. Okay, we're on to the next part. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him, if we trust in the Lord Jesus, he will be forgiven. We will have the power to, to live the way God wants us to live, and we will be in God's family forever. He will make a home for us in heaven. I hope all the Sparkies have trusted in the Lord Jesus, our Savior. If they haven't, they need to talk to their parent and leader and someone else who can understand, help them understand. Okay, so I'm encouraging the first week for the leaders to talk about this. Okay, when they check in with your kids, but also parents, please just, just start that conversation of, are you understanding what this means? Um, those heart questions of, you know, are you ready to ask Jesus into your heart? We've got lots of resources if, if that is hard um, to start those conversations. So. The questions we're going to ask are, have you trusted in the Lord Jesus? If you have, have you thanked him for taking the punishment for your sins, for making you part of God's family and preparing a home for you in heaven so you can someday live there with him forever? All right, you ready to say the whole verse? Okay, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him and shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Now, if I went back and figured out how many times I've said or read that verse, I'm sure it is in the thousands of thousands of tens of thousands of times. But it's funny how every time we start Sparks, we start going back over these verses. I just realized how exciting and what a gift we have here. And it's not an easy concept. It's not just a verse that we can rush through. There's so much to this and an amazing gift that God has given us to have. So kids, I want you to be listening right now, okay? Um, so the leaders are going to be asking you some questions. Whom does God love? What do you think? Who does God love? Does he love me? Does he love that guy over on the street? Does he love the president? Does he love the firefighters? Does he love you? Absolutely. Whom did God give God sin to take the punishment for, for my sin? Okay, so it's, this is one of those things really easy. I have a bunch of hands up. People are raising their hands. And hands in there. Okay, who, who? Jesus. What should I believe? Well, we have this amazing book right here. This gift. And we are going to be talking and we are going to be opening our books, our Bibles, this year. And we are going to get to know how to use it as a tool. And we're going to get to use it as not just something to put something on top of or to hold the door closed, but as an amazing tool and gift. And amazing stories that are in here we're going to explore. Um, so, what should I believe? Well, the things are in the, in, are in the Bible. 
what happens when I trust the Lord and Jesus as my Savior? Well, that is one of the most important decisions of your life. And not just to trust, but to believe and to, to walk in a way that's honoring, honoring to the Lord. And um, it's not just a split-second decision. It's, it's kind of a change of your way of life and your, and your decision-making. So what happens? I, I get over myself and I realize that I am a sinner and I, I just can't do this on my own. And I said, Jesus, I need help. I, I know that you are bigger um, than anything I can worry about. You're bigger than anything I can um, struggle with. And I want to follow you. Okay. Um, so your leaders are going to be checking in with you this week. And I encourage you, um, parents, it's okay to take two weeks on this. Um, I don't want it just to be a rush thing. I want them to really... Um, learn this verse and have it be a heart verse um, posted everywhere. If they're, if they're not reading yet, um, that's okay. Lots of um, pictures and stuff. I'm going to have this up on my, for my kindergartner and we're going to draw some pictures and kind of make it visually some reminders, visual reminders to, to learn it. And also, I don't know about you, but we have these handy dandy whiteboards. And so, we will take a word off and we'll say the verse, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. As you take away words, you're, you're putting those in your memory and be able to um, say it without actually reading it. And also, the other thing I was going to show you was print out. Cut off the words um, as a family, um, make it a game, and put them back in order. So. This is our first week of club. So I want you guys to know how loved you are. Um, we're going to do a lot of learning, a lot of having a lot of fun together, and um, hopefully just challenge all of us as kids and as parents um, to learn about the Lord. So thank you. We will see you next week.